it'd be complete with time to spare. Love it. Now, um, I know some people have asked me and I've, I've answered and stuff like that, but I thought I'd just kind of break it down a little bit more like, because, you know, some of us are kind of worried about that December 21st release date. And even though like in Brazil, I guess they're getting on the 7th and China is getting like the 14th. I don't know. They're all getting it before us. <laughs> or at least, you know, I, I shouldn't say us because I think a lot, you know, a lot of my followers actually are not from the United States, but it's like, um, yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough little date. I really don't understand why studios decide to release movies like Christmas Day and stuff like that. It, there, there'll be like six movies released on the same day. because They just, I, I, I honestly don't get it. I mean, I know there's, I guess, traditions of families that go to the movies on Christmas Day after they open their presents. I don't know. But, um, what I'm hoping for, um, well, the Deadpool movie, the, the, the PG-13 Deadpool, that got bumped up to the 12th. Um, so I know a lot of people are like, yeah, they're just trying to do it because Marvel vs. Day say No, I think it's a limited engagement, too. I don't think it's going to be like worldwide or anything. Um, we got uh, Mary Poppins. <laughs> That last trailer, I'm just kind of going, you know, the only people who probably would really want to see this is older people. I'm not saying that they won't take their grandkids or what, whatnot, but it's just, you know, I mean, they're really trying to capture with the animation, with the live action, they're really trying to capture what was there with Mary Poppins, the original Mary Poppins. So, so I don't think that's going to really do, it could be much of a hassle, but Bumblebee might be because that's a Transformers movie. So that's the only one I'm really worried about. Other than that, I'm really hoping that Aquaman is like how Jumanji was last year. And it just has that those legs that just keep going and going and going. Only time will tell, guys. Um, but whatever. And like I said, I even said on my recent podcast when someone asked me about the boycotters, eh, it's fine. If you don't, if you don't feel like spending money on it, you don't feel like spending money on it. But it's just the people that, you know, make the proclamations that they're going to boycott it, like almost at a daily basis. Those guys are, I don't even 